welcome to RaidGuards.com's video guide to Garage Al the Spirit Binder in Mogashin Vaults on 10 man heroic difficulty. My name is Arch and I'll be guiding you through this encounter. It doesn't change a lot my mechanically in terms from normal to heroic. If you do need a normal mechanics then go find the normal mode video and I'll go over all the basic mechanics there. I'll only go over the changes in this. The biggest thing is the, the the DPS check, I the requirement f to kill him is insane. You need to do as much damage as you can on the boss. Um, we didn't have the best start because, well, I completely ruined my opener and lost so much damage. But we, we would advise bloodlust and pots and everything right at the beginning of the fight, just to open up with as much damage as you can. I mean, generally on pretty much every attempt we had all of our DPS sit in between 130 to 180,000 DPS and I, it's, you need to have so much damage right so <coughs> first change is coming up now as usual you all know how the spirit realm works you go in and kill shadow minions when the tank gets banished the server of souls that they have to kill three of them will spawn instead of one now, two of them will be open for everybody, but one of them will be unique to the tank. You can see the tank in the lower left corner there, DPS in nothing. It's because that's his unique one. You can't attack that. The tank has to kill that. Right. But the DPS cool. in there have to help the tank to kill the server of souls because they will not have the DPS to kill all three by themselves. And the next change is once you come out of the spirit realm, you receive a 30 second debuff, which if you enter the spirit realm with this debuff, you will die. So you have to rotate two groups of people going into the spirit realm each time. And the final change is Voodoo Doll. Instead of duplicate, you know, copying 70% of the damage people with Voodoo Doll take and, sp and split it amongst them, it now copies 100% of the damage. So the, the Voodoo Doll target's damage has really gone through the roof and they need a lot of attention. So... As you can see, when it comes to the Shadow Realm, the best people for this are dot classes like Affliction Warlocks, Boomkins, Shadow Priest. You can see there, there's a server of souls. That's the one that the tank has to kill and you have to help them with. The way we <coughs> handled the Spirit Realm is we delayed the first uh, going in until 10 seconds before the first banishment. This way, you are there clearing up shadow minions and then the server of souls will spawn with like 15 seconds left in there which is enough time to kill them and then get out and if it isn't once soon as our first, you know, as soon as one team left the next team went straight in and that means if you hadn't killed them they could then finish them off because there'd still be time left before the tank would get killed now we did occasionally get to a point where because we had a lot of damage in there there would be like so few shadowy minions up that one person would get healed up and leave as quick as they can and the other person would stay there and continuing you know shadowy minions and be there to help with the tank so because you need to get out and get as much damage on the boss as possible so if you can if you, if you don't need to have both people in there then don't have both people in there because you're going to fall behind on the boss and the enrage timer is so tight that you just cannot Five, afford to fall behind. Four, three, two. Now, they have said that 10 man is um, <coughs> very spiky and very RNG and much more spiky than they want because if you have, because those voodoo, those spirit minions, shadow minions will target randomly, they will hit wherever they feel like hitting. Now if five of them decide to target the same person and if that person happens to be a voodoo doll person and that person happens to get a hit from one of the other people that voodoo doll like let's say the ta you know the tank gets hit at the same time that, that person gets hit by the five shadow minions they're gonna die because it's gonna be about seven hundred thousand damage 
and you're just not going to survive. And we had it occasionally. Somebody would just get insta-gibbed. So, it you know, rarely happens, but it does happen. So be prepared to pull your hair out in this fight a little bit because it can be so annoying. The HPS requirements is very hit and miss. Some, some attempts it was ridiculous how much healing they had to do. Some attempts they said it wasn't too bad. So it completely depends on how unlucky you get, I suppose. Uh, now he's hit 20%, he does his little frenzy thing as you know, and he then he doesn't spawn any more totems. We've still got one up, but we didn't go in because we need to burn him, because we've got 32 seconds left until he hits in range. And it's a hard in range, so when it runs out of time, it runs out of time. Fight's over, he kills you. And we had an amazing finish to our fight. Um, which is probably my fault for fucking up my opener, really. But never mind, we still killed him, we'll see what matters. So, um, good luck and have fun. Hopefully see you in the Spirit Kings video. Uh, comment, like and subscribe. And I will see you guys soon. Double KO!